It's a cloudy but warm afternoon here in South Texas. It's definitely springtime. It's about 25 degrees, about 78 Fahrenheit. And I wouldn't say it's ideal riding conditions. A few little drips coming down. I don't think we're supposed to get a major shower or storm though, but I'm not gonna complain. I've got breath in my lungs. I'm out on the bike. Got about an hour and 15 minute workout planned. Let's get it. So a couple of days ago, the university cycling team here in town, plus a bunch of locals, hosted a practice criteria. And man, I haven't raced proper since, well, 2020, right around COVID. And you know, been a part of these little practice races here in town for a while and just super fun. So slap up a few pictures here, but a bunch of riders came out and man, just fun to kind of push yourself and go hard and see what your body can do but ended up taking the win in the first race. Kind of fun. I uh, attacked from two laps out, had someone on my wheel and I looked back and I could see that he was gassed. And so I said, you know what, let me attack again. So I attacked again, dropped him and just soloed for the win. Second race, yeah, I just sat in, had some fun and let some others take it. But such a blast to be able to race, even if it's just a practice race. So earlier in the week, I was talking to some friends about Romans 13, where the Apostle Paul says, salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. He says, the night is far gone, the day is at hand. So let us lay aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. He says, let us walk properly as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality, not in quarreling and jealousy. And he says, we should put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. A few things I wanna to talk to you today about that particular passage in Romans 13. First thing that Paul says, he says, the night is far gone and the day is at hand. In other words, it's nighttime right now, but it's almost daytime. And this is a way that first century Jews would describe what life is like in this age versus what life will be like in the age to come, meaning the day after Jesus returns and sets up his kingdom and rules the world from Jerusalem. So this age full of darkness, the age to come full of light. Now we can relate to that imagery too, right? Nighttime, daytime. Nighttime is when not a lot of good stuff happens. Daytime, you can see, things are clear. So what does that mean for Paul? He says, the night is far gone, the day is at hand. Okay, it's almost daytime, so stop living as people who live in the nighttime. And he goes on, you know, he describes what people do in the nighttime, orgies, drunkenness, sexual immorality, debauchery, these kinds of behavior that it's like, oh, we're under the cover of darkness, under the cover of night, no one's gonna see, no one's gonna notice. But he says, no, we know Jesus is about to return and be the judge of the living and the dead. So live as, as if it is the daytime. Don't walk like you used to walk. Walk as it will be in the age to come.
I don't think this is complex, what Paul's trying to say there. He just says, okay, if Jesus is going to return, if he's going to be the judge of the living and the dead, he's going to look at the way you've lived your life, not just before other people, but especially in secret, especially when no one's looking. Man, take heed, pay attention, because the dark and evil things that make up life today, those are going away soon. Don't live like that, Paul says. So I've said this often in some of my past videos that what we believe about the future should affect how we live in the present. And I think this passage is super clear in that respect that Paul is saying, okay, because a day is coming when the kinds of behavior that you think you can get away with when it's nighttime, those things will be exposed. They'll be displayed for what they really are, bankrupt and behavior that's not acceptable to actually inherit eternal life in the age to come. So Paul says, in light of that, in light of where it's going, live uprightly today. Friends, the day of the Lord that's coming, it's like a filter. Those who actually took Jesus' words seriously and obeyed them and sought to live uprightly, especially when no one's looking, those are the people that are gonna make it through that filter and actually inherit eternal life. But others, no, if, if you don't actually obey what he taught, you don't actually conform your life to the pattern of his life and expect difficulty for doing that, expect misunderstanding and mistreatment and maybe even martyrdom for doing that, man, that's the kind of life that won't make it through the day of the Lord. This is a sobering thing, friends. On the other hand, it's also an exciting thing because Jesus said that the things we do in secret that please him will be rewarded openly. So we devote ourselves to Jesus. We seek to live before his eyes and not before the eyes of men and the opinions of men. We wanna be well-pleasing to him, especially when no one's looking. Unless we think we have to try to figure this all out on our own. Oh man, no, we have the Holy Spirit, God's gift to us, his grace to us to help us to strengthen us, to remind us what matters to him, to live our lives in a way that actually will prove worthy of inheriting the resurrection of the dead and getting eternal life when he comes. Friends, there's nothing more important than this. So friends, let's take Paul's words seriously. Let's walk properly as in the daytime. Because if God is really trustworthy and reliable, if he's proven himself that he's really gonna do what he said, if the resurrection and eternal life is real, we are not missing out on anything at all by seeking to live a life that's obedient and well-pleasing to Jesus. Man, he's gonna bring so much reward on the day that he comes. We're gonna live forever in a body that never dies. That's what this is all about. Man, let's give it all up in this age to gain it all in the world to come. Well, I'm gonna jump into my workout. This is provoking or encouraging. Leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>